Hi, my name is Andrea and I'm a technical consultant and adaptivist. Today, let's walk through a few different use cases for AI and JSM. So here is my first example. This is the virtual agent. I am testing it here and I requested to get access to Adobe. So the virtual agent is asking me to confirm if I'm looking for access to Adobe. So I'm gonna confirm yes, because I selected yes. The next prompt is why do I need this access for day-to-day -day activities in my job? And within the flow itself, uh, there is a certain type of web request used to add me to Adobe. And so it lets me know I've been successfully added. And I want to say yes, this resolved my issue. Last but not least, I can rate the virtual agent. Okay. Moving on to the next one. It can also connect to your knowledge base, which is in Confluence to answer your customer's questions. So this helps to deflect requests otherwise fulfilled by agents. So this one, for example, how do I set up Microsoft 365 email? I have a page in Confluence in my knowledge base that's connected to this JSM project. So Atlassian Intelligence can search through my knowledge base and find the answer. So that's where these steps came from. If I want to read more, I can look at these links. And I can see here it's been answered by Atlassian Intelligence. And so did it resolve my issue? Yes, it did resolve my issue. And again, I'll ask me for a rating. If I select no, it will actually escalate it and create a ticket. But the whole idea here is that Atlassian Intelligence can help you deflect those very simple questions that saves your agent's time. Moving on to the issue itself, you can do a couple different things. So this ticket used to be assigned to Alana. However, she is on PTO right now. So I assigned it to myself. I'm taking over for her. And pretend there's a lot of different comments in here. There's only three, but pretend there's a lot. And instead of going through every single comment and reading and catching up everything that's been discussed, I can just click on the summarize button. And so it's only visible to me so I can see what is going on within the comments. So after reading the summary, I have a good idea what's going on. So seems like Cassie requested access. They've got the access badge request and laptop orders in progress and office setup. So everything's been done so far except for the JIRA access. So let's say I set Cassie up in JIRA. I'm gonna let her know. Oops. However, after realizing this, the description field is used for asking what kind of access they need. But within the portal itself, the label for that description field also asks what roles and permissions they need. But Cassie did not include that in her request here. So let's pretend I am a very frustrated agent having a really bad day. Um, <laughs> I am going to tell Cassie, you totally forgot to add what level of permissions and roles you need with within JIRA. How dare you? Okay, so obviously this would not be a, a good way to treat your customer, of course. So that's where last intelligence comes in. It's a very extreme example, but on purpose. So if I click on this button here, lesson intelligence, it can help me to either summarize my writing, improve it, fix my spelling and grammar, make it shorter, change my tone to professional, empathetic, casual, or neutral, or educational. So obviously what I wrote is not professional at all. So I'm going to click on this to make it professional. It seems like you overlooked, blah, blah, blah. Could you please address this? That's okay. I'm gonna retry to see if it comes up with something better. Uh, let's see. 
Okay, yeah, I like this better. So I have a couple options. I can either copy it, insert it below, or replace. I like it. I'm going to replace it. And it is kind of long. Maybe I can make it shorter. So I can either summarize or make it shorter. I don't really like it that much. It's okay, let's stay professional. I kind of like how it says at your earliest convenience versus soon. So cancel and save. Awesome. Now let's move on to Confluence. So Confluence is where your knowledge base will be located. So whether it's how-to articles, troubleshooting articles, processes and standards. Let's say I wrote this uh, knowledge article here. It's a how-to article on how to share and create group calendars. So I wrote it out, it looks good. However, if I highlight it, Elastic Intelligence can help me out and either change my tone or help me rewrite it. So maybe I just want to improve my writing in general. So that includes spelling and grammar, that includes the wording, and that includes making it more professional. Kind of includes a little bit of everything. So it can actually help me rewrite the entire thing. And let's say I look through it all and I like it. I'm going to click on replace. So that it's a really easy way to make sure your articles are written in a good way. I just clicked on undo and let's try changing my tone to something more educational because this is, you know, steps on how to do something. Perfect. Okay, click on replace. And now I have a knowledge base article that is more educational. Okay, last but not least, it can also help with your setup. So let's say I'm in this IT support service project. If I go under project settings, request types, let's say I wanna create a new request type. However, I don't know what to call it. I don't know what to title it. I need some ideas. So I click on this button called suggest. It will help me suggest a request type to create. So let's go under incidents. Let's say I need some suggestions on how, uh, let's see, users can report a security breach that was detected. Security breach detected. Oops, detected. Okay, so what you can do is you can put in something like that, security breach detected. Just talk about your team and it'll give you ideas on what that kind of team would do. So like if you say, I work on an HR team, it would give you HR kinds of requests. Or you can say the type of work that your team does and it'll give you some examples. I was more specific here though, because I kind of have an idea on what I want already. I just need a better way to word it. So security breach detected. Uh, let's see, so I have some options. I'm gonna select the first one. I like this one. I'm gonna click on create or enter. Okay, I can change the icon if I want, description. See the description's already provided, which is nice. And click on next, put it under service and infrastructure, click on create. And now that I have my request type, this will take us to our next AI feature that is a pretty empty form right now. It's just instructions and a summary. So Elastic Intelligence can help by suggesting fields. And this is really cool for two reasons. The first one, is it suggests some fields that already exist. So I don't have to create these fields, they already exist. Um, so I can just click on add, let's say affected services, I like that one. Uh, details, uh, maybe the urgency, severity, impact, maybe if they wanna add an attachment, that's cool. And then the second thing is that there's suggestions for maybe new fields that I could create. So these are just some suggestions on new fields if I wanted to could be created uh, just based on the name of the request type. But I like this so far, so I'm gonna click on save. 
and I am all set. Last but not least, it can also help us create automations. So under automation, I can click on create with AI and I can type up a description. So let's say I want this to change the status to closed if the issue hasn't been updated in the past seven days and is resolved or canceled. Okay, so what it's gonna do, it's gonna read this natural language, just English, and it's going to create the automation for me. So two steps, review the rule to make sure it's correct, of course, um, and then turn it on. So let's see what it did here. So every day, it's gonna go through, find anything where the status hasn't been updated within the past seven days, and the status isn't resolved or canceled, that's perfect, and it's gonna transition it to closed, perfect. So to set, instead of having to figure that out, it doesn't for me, and I can just, voila, turn on the rule. Awesome. Well, that is everything. We went through the virtual agent, uh, comments, rewriting knowledge-based articles and confluence, and project setup. Thanks for watching.